Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here in Vanilla FM. And I have very big news for you. We are champions of the Van Rama National League. So it's been a long time coming now. Uh, we've been in this league for, I think, five seasons, maybe six. Let's look at the club history. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a sixth season and we finally managed to become champions. So we're going to be um, promoted straight away without a playoff. Uh, we're just going to play our last match against... Um, where is it? Uh, Borham Wood. And then we'll take a look at the season review. Um, yeah, some really good stats from our players this, this year. I think the fact that we went professional massively helps. So this has been our this has been our first professional season. So that's really really helped with how the um, season went. We had very very few losses. Um, we did, however, uh, lose for the FA Trophy semi final, which is a bit you know uh, disappointing. We didn't get to the final, but oh well. At least we get one trophy this year. A lot of draws in the lead up to the end. I think there was a little bit of lack of motivation at that point to finish. Uh, and there we go. So we're going to um, just play with the usual team that I've been playing this year. Got one injury right now. So that's one of the few changes we had to make. It doesn't really matter the result of this match. Because uh, we are already champions. It was quite exciting. So we secured it in the previous match. So in the uh, second to last match. As you can see, though, there's a big gap between first, second and third. Third place is like 20 points behind or something like that. Although first and second, we were very close very close here. But there's a huge gap of 20 points. Also a huge gap here with the last place. Nearly, nearly 30 points there. So lots and lots of differences here within the league. Yeah, the other spots aren't quite so tight. Got a chance here for a draw? No, not yet. Okay. Yeah, so these other gaps aren't quite as big as I meant. Uh, they're not quite as big. But maybe there's like a little gap here between 17th and 18th, but nothing major. Right, so I think I suppose we should get our subs out of the way and uh, get the game done. Let's actually put in like this, say one for the second half. There we go, we're going to put a youth player on, Paul. And uh, we're going to lose here against Bor uh, Borham, but um, oh well, it doesn't matter. We won the league, that's what it matters. It doesn't actually help them avoid relegation either. So, just a consolation point for them. Well, obviously, it would have been great to finish on a win, but oh well. Oh well, indeed. And there we are, last match of the game. Well, the interesting thing is to look at the end of season review to see what has gone on. So we screw the playoffs. Uh, transfer seat uh, for this season, for the next season. How do I look at next seasons? 
finance, maybe? Yeah. So next season, we're going to guarantee 300,000 and 29,000 for next year. So quite a big boost to our transfer budget, but not to our wage budget. Increasing in our following, no other changes that I can see. Lots of changes here. So negotiate, I'm gonna try and get rid of them. Many as I can. Suggest. Get rid of them more. Suggest, okay. So maximum of one year contract to players over the age of 32. Okay, finish. Let's look at these first. Okay, I think next year... Um, I always dread these guys. I always, always dread these because I always mess it up. So... I'm so happy with the promotion, but I know... How hard it will be playing at high level with that mind will be strengthening the squad. Okay, I think that's it. And they've taken well to it, which is good. I won't be making any promises. And there we are. Actually, that went quite well. I thought that, would, that was going to go terribly. I always mess it up. Now, let's get rid of some loans if we can. So we can save some cash. Zach Simmons, bye bye. The other thing is, look at the stats for our youth. Very, very good. Like lots and lots and lots of goals. 10 nil. Uh, that's a friendly, so it doesn't really count. Yeah, lots and lots of goals. They won the league. Not by a huge margin, but if we look at the stats. Team overview. We got 137 goals this season, and the we are dominating the goal um, goal scoring sheet by a huge amount. 43 goals for Jay Green this year. Um, yeah, Th oh, uh, three top players. Oops, three players in the top goal scoring. And a huge difference as well. Ten, ten goals separating them, and then, yeah, a big difference there. So it dominated the league. I'm going to have to let the playoffs play out for us to be able to look at the season review. So what have we got? Mm. Boston's out. Oh. Oh, I might want to deal with it. Okay. How many how long do I have to do that? So someone's complaining about a contract. I need to make sure I enter new negotiations soon. Barnett's out. We got hit by a tax bill. We got a new sponsorship and a new scouting budget, and that's not a big budget, actually. Right, let me deal with this contract. And discuss, new contract with the agent, blah, 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 blah. And let's offer the contract. So, I'm gonna try to drop it down to youngster. Nope, okay. Try and remove all these. Oh, there you go. 
I always try and remove as many claws as possible. It wasn't possible to remove all, all of them at that point. Sometimes it is though. Okay, looks like it's the second and third fighting it off. Probably going to be Rochdale though that wins. They were just so much better than the other teams like us. Like we were. got a new contract, he's happy with it. Come on, final playoff. Come on, come on. Oh! Third, okay. That'll be very disappointing for Rochelle. They ne nearly won the championship, and um, and they didn't get promoted. Very good investment this year, as far as transfers. We made more money this year than in any, well, than last year, but I think in any other year, to be f to be honest. <laughs> And here we are, I got three times manager of the year. Sorry, manager of the month. I'll probably get manager of the year as well. Record breaks, most goals by a player in a match, four goals. Most assists by a player in a season, 17. Most clean sheets, 22 for Owen. Highest transfer uh, fee received, 88k for Rico. Um, fan player of the year, Alex. Young player of the year, also Alex. Signing of the year, also Alex. Uh, goal of the season, Calm Stringer. Top goal scorer with 27 goals, Simon Thompson. It's a shame he's only a low knee. Most assists, Federal, Ross Lang. Most player of the match, awards 8 for Owen, the goalkeeper. Highest average rating, uh, 7.4 for Alex. Most passes completed for Jordan Tilson. Tilson. Very good. Here is the end of the year. Got our medals. Probably some youth players in there. Yeah, there's one youth player in there. A few players inducted into the best 11. I'm surprised Simon Thompson isn't in here. Actually. See if anyone's been inducted as a favorite personnel. No, oh. I am an icon, though. I've been I've been put here as an icon for the club, but no favorite personnel. That's surprising. Okay. Right. I guess that's it. Uh, they haven't announced the. Uh, da, da, da. I'm not gonna make a comment to this point. They haven't announced the manager of the year, so I'm going to just see if they do that. We've got uh, set record high points total to reach playoffs. There we go, 100, 100 points. Oh, Timon Thompson, player of the uh, year. With 25 goals, 5 assists, 7.2 rating with 11 points. Congratulate. He's not our player though. He's only a low knee from Watford. Which is a shame. He wasn't far off goal scorer of the... Um, sorry. Uh, yeah, goal scorer of the year. I need to vote for this now. I'm probably going to vote for Simon Weaver from Barrow. Confirm. Uh, improve return positions. I'm not going to make a comment right now because I haven't looked at it. Come on, give me the end of year season award for team manager. Let's do it. Tilson retires.
Yeah, that's fine. This has changed. This has gone big all of a sudden. Oh, it's gone back to normal now. Nope. nope. Seeing something weird. We're not going to sell anyone right now. I just want to know the vote for team manager of the year. FA Cup over Achievers Hereford. I can't remember how far we got actually. Third round maybe? Yeah, third round. The special one. Wait, does that mean I won manager of the year? Yes, I did. Okay, there we are. Manager of the year. Finally got it. And Barnett won the FA Cup, which is fitting because Barnett did um the fetus in the semi-final so at least we lost to the winners which is always good all right there we are so we are going to play in the sky bet league 2 next season and quite excited for that we've not been that far up um before so so that's going to be really good to be able to play at that level and now that we are professional hopefully we can get in some new talent so that's what I'm going to be working on in the next few days, uh, working on transfers and making the team ready. And then I'll come back for the first few matches. Thanks so much for watching until the end. Take care. Bye-bye.